So that proposal negotiation, those LOI negotiations, uh, lead into the final, the third and final phase of the process, which is implementation. Uh, implementation begins with the lease negotiation, encapsulating everything that you've been negotiating, and then some, in the letter of intent, uh, to make sure that you're, you're protected. Um, and you need two people, I believe, uh, you know, to, to negotiate a, a lease in every instance, I advise my clients. Uh, one is, of course, a real experienced real estate broker, and secondly, uh, you know, is also, you know, an attorney that has a commercial real estate leasing experience. It's good to have two set of eyes, <coughs> two sets of eyes, trained eyes, um, on that document. But one without the other isn't, isn't sufficient. Attorneys do not know the landlords as well. They don't know the, the agents. They can't read them as well. Uh, they don't know the market, certainly, and they don't identify physical uh, attributes of space as well, and usually they haven't even seen the facility. That, that's inadequate to just use an attorney, but it's, in my view, inadequate to just use a broker uh, because there are certain business issues that are going to be better understood by attorneys usually, such as your exit strategy and how that may need to align with contraction rights or, or potentially even a termination right. Um, and then use provisions that landlords try to restrict that you want to keep open just in case your business changes um, or if there's another aspect of your business uh, that may not be as, as obvious as you go into the process. So that's, it's very important. Um, and you know, the second uh, component of the implementation is having the right design and relocation team. In some instances, it's the right architect, the right MVP, the right uh, general contractor, construction manager. To, to, to perform that to perform that work, and in almost every case, it's the right furniture provider, IT provider, and mover to make sure that, that you're in. However, I say it all the time to clients, you can have the best design and relocation team, and that's very important, but if you don't negotiate the lease properly, you know, those folks are going to be impeded from doing their job, or it's going to cost you more. Things like being able to move in you know, during hours so you're not paying overtime pre-occupancy rights to get set up you know, before you know, your lease actually begins, alteration provisions, the right work letter, uh, the terms and conditions within there, uh, all very important to actually implement your facility. Um, so again, in, in summary, one takeaway here is this is a process. You know, step number four of this dozen step process, I guess, is you know, evaluating or looking at market options. You know, there, there is a three-phase, multifaceted process that needs to take place, needs to be managed by someone that's active in the market and someone that's experienced in doing this. Um, it's not like a commodity where you know, you're buying computers or IT services where the goal of the seller is to sell as much volume as they can. Even in a market like this, real estate is still a fixed asset. You know, the landlord probably only has one space, whether it's the whole building or just a tiny space, that can actually work for you in that particular building. Um, so it's still a scarce resource. You still have to, to mesh well with them. Um, they still have to believe your story that you're going to perform. And they still have to believe that you're, you're real and your requirements are real. So it's so important to follow the process and execute it properly. So with that, uh, I'd like to hear what questions you all have.